Okay, so I'm going to show you some of the possibilities with, with Zoom uh, showing the screen. So I'm going to basically say, uh, make a meeting here. And then I have some options here. Um, and, and of course, you can see myself right here. So one thing that uh, I'm going to, let's just look at the audio functionality right now. So i got a couple of audio links going on, going on here. I'm using an external microphone. Most of y'all are probably going to use your built-in microphone. And I'm um, going to hit audio settings. And what I find the best is to turn off automatic volume control. Uh, have that turned off. And then uh, basically I hit advance here. And then I find to turn off the intermittent background and if you turn off also the persistent noise, that helps for me for music instruments. If you're mainly talking, you can leave these on and that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So I'm going to get out of that as well. So as you can see right here, uh, if I'm going to share a screen, I, I got a couple of options now, to record. What I do is I click on re the record here. And since I, I got the basically the version that my school has, I have an option to record to the cloud. Uh, most of y'all have this option that's, that's going to just record to your computer, and that's what I'm going to use today, is record to the computer. Okay? And then, uh, basically, if I'm gonna sh basically, if I had anybody on in here, uh, you can see the participants in there and whatnot. Uh, I can mute my, my photo. I go up by video, I mean, go to photo, basically, on there. I can mute myself talking if I need, needed to for some reason. Um, if I want to chat, I can click that to the chat. Uh, and whatnot, but mainly I'm showing this if you just want to use this to make uh, synch uh, asynchronous content. So basically, if you are going to uh, record content uh, for your students to watch later on and whatnot. So right now I'm still recording. You can see that record up there as well. Also, I got this original sound on. That's really good for musicians. And um, I'll show once again. I kind of show you where that's at. Audio settings, and then under advanced, there's a little option here. Uh, show um, option to, to, to use original audio from the microphone on there. And I'll show a couple of things. You can have some backgrounds, you know, so if I want to be um, in San Francisco, you can pick a background. Most of the time, I think just a regular background would be fine like that. So, um, okay. So now let's, let's say I'm teaching right now and I want to uh, share a screen. So basically, I'm going to go on here, and let's say that I want to share um, a YouTube video, a video of something from the web. So because I'm going to play a video, I'm going to hit right here, optionize, optimize for screen share, and this is going to share the uh, computer sound also. So I'm going to click that. Basically, you can watch the video content here. I know the screen's a little bit small here, but that's okay, and you can kind of see the content there. It's where you store your data. And so uh, it basically functions at... Okay. Uh, then if I stop sharing the screen, uh, it goes back to my face there. So basically you have that little bitty video and then you have the screen that you're showing. And also you can share software. So I'll just pull up uh, GarageBand real quick. And uh, basically if I want to you know, record something... So you can actually show folks how to use software as well um, with this particular software as well. So Zoom does a lot of things. Uh, you can also show um, a, a Word document if you needed to. Um, I just made a quick one right there. Okay. So here's the Word document that I have. And I uh, just made a quick little thing. There's a little advertisement to go to my uh, feature film, The Rise of the Robots, the robotfilm.com. And I can stop sharing there. I can also um, share, of course, a, a PowerPoint presentation if I want if I want to. So here's a PowerPoint presentation I did on uh, music with making music with a Commodore 64. And I can scroll through that. I can do a full screen if I want to. And uh, you're, not, you're only going to see part of this because of uh, the, the way it's positioned. So I'll just go back to the other one. But as you can see, you can go through there and show your PowerPoint presentations. So all that's pretty useful. And again, I'm going to hit stop. Stop share. 
So uh, doing all those sorts of things, if you can show a PowerPoint, if you can show a web page, if you can play a video on there, if you can play a video from, um, I'm not sure if I can do this right now because I'm recording in quick time to get the screen here, but I can, let me see if I can show a video. Um, yeah. Where Buddy, I'm a big Buddy Holly fan, and I got a chance to go to the studio there, and so here I am, and basically they were really cool about letting me play play some music this there where Buddy Holly played at. Glockenspiel that there was played on uh, every day. And so uh, that was, I don't know, about 12 years ago. So that was really cool to get a chance to go do this. So you can share a uh, video clip uh, with, a, with a class as well. We do have the whiteboard here. And for me, it, it's not really as handy, but you can draw pictures. Probably way better than me. And we're all going to be happy. You know. And then you can clear the clear that out, and you know you do text if you want to, and you can erase stuff, you can spotlight or stamps, you know. But, so, anyways, there's a, there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this potential, and you can even save the drawings if you're doing um, some type of mathematical things as well and whatnot. So, uh, there's a lot of really cool options you can do with Zoom, and uh, for teaching online, I know a lot of us. This is so new for a lot of y'all out there. I've been making content for a bunch of years, so, and, and I got a gift for technology. There's something about technology that I'm just really gifted with. So hopefully this helps out a little bit. And once you're done recording, you just hit stop recording there. And then when you get done, you hit end the meeting. And it says, yeah, end meeting for all. And you can see it's going to render the video. And the longer the video you have, obviously the longer time it's gonna to take to render. And as you can see, it popped up. And basically, if I click on the, the video clip, uh, it records to the computer. So now I have that video clip that I can upload to uh, YouTube, to um, Google Drive, whatever, and whatnot. And uh, it looks like they it looks like there's even the image there. Yeah, they actually saved also. So the whiteboard image saved as well. So I hope this helps out. Uh, if you need some help, uh, let me know. Send me out an uh, email. Uh, leave, leave a comment there. We're here to help each other out during this uh, very difficult time. As always, rock and roll, of course, it does compute. If you like this type of amazing content, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would totally compute. And if you'd like to help me out a little bit, go watch The Rise of the Robots at www.therobotfilm.com. Uh, watch it. Leave a comment. Um, and rate it. Uh, that would definitely help me out a lot if you uh, enjoy this type of content. Thank you so much. Thank you.